begin this segment just west of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, and this is Lake Superior. Don't let that flat calm deceive you. Superior is the biggest, the deepest, the coldest, and the wildest of all the Great Lakes. But those who live here say it is also the most beautiful of them all. The lake is truly immense, so big that it has more water than all four of the other Great Lakes combined. You'd need, in fact, two more Lake Eries to equal the water in Superior. At the Point Iroquois Lighthouse near the Michigan UP town of Bay Mills, Ronnie Gilmore, who everybody calls Gilly, jokes about life on the Superior Coast. You know, on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, we have two seasons. Uh, you know, one is uh, shoveling, the other one's swatting. So up here, you know, we have eight months of winter and four months of bad sledding. Further west and then south for a dozen miles past the town of Paradise is Tequamanan Falls, the largest waterfall east of the Mississippi. We had spotty phone service here and in several other areas of the UP, but I hooked up my Wilson Sleek cell phone booster and here's the results. Okay, look, can you see that? Zero bars, no service, nothing. Turn it on. We had no service before and let's see what we got now. Look at that. In the rack, it has three bars. In Munising is the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, a 42-mile stretch of sandstone cliffs carved out by the mighty waves of the Big Lake. The best way to see it is on a boat, like this one, operated by the Pictured Rocks Cruise Line. These cliffs are up to 200 feet above lake level. They've been naturally sculpted into shallow caves and arches and formations that resemble castles, battleships, even faces. On the way back to Munising, we visited Munising Falls, a very photogenic 50-foot waterfall at the western end of the Pictured Rocks area. By now, we had worked up an appetite for what many of the locals call Uper Soul Food, the pasty. So we went to Muldoon. People drive from all over the country, to, all over the world to get the pasties. It's pretty unique to this area. and. Um, a lot of people have never tried them before, so they come here and have their pasties. So here is the pasty. Now, the locals will tell you, you don't put anything on it. No gravy, no ketchup. That's what people down below the, the bridge do. But you look inside this thing. Can you see this? Look at that. And the smell is awesome. So this is the beef pasty. And uh, it's a meal all in itself. Munising may be surrounded by wilderness, but it's a very connected town. Tom Delasky IV runs a number of very high-tech companies right on the main highway of Munising. His IT clients include hotels all over the world, but he chooses to live on the Superior Shore because of the beauty and the opportunity it gives him to do photography and video. Like me, he flies a personal drone, and when I stop by to visit, he and his team dropped everything for a chance for us to go outside and fly. I wish I had more time. Yeah. There's a lifetime you could spend up here filming. I had to pick up this 5S Verizon LTE here. I, it's, I lived in Manhattan for a year last year. It's no different. We've got the same, same access, the same technology. It's becoming a, a commodity. It's an expectation. I've got 100 meg internet service at my office. I've got 50 meg at my house. Superior's call had us moving west following Highway 28 past spectacular coastlines. Gorgeous sunsets, rushing streams. We walked empty beaches that we had all to ourselves. We moved past the harbor town of Marquette. Up the Keweenaw Peninsula is Copper Harbor, the northernmost part of Michigan where the superior shore is rugged and rough and stunningly beautiful. And then there's the far western end of the UP and the 60,000 acre Porcupine Mountains, one of the few remaining large wilderness tracks in the Midwest with towering virgin timber, secluded lakes, and miles of wild rivers and streams. And it's in the Porcupine Mountains overlooking Lake of the Clouds that we end this segment. Now the Porkies actually extend about 25 miles to the west and southwest, right along the Superior Shore, almost to the border with Wisconsin. And it's there that we'll begin our next report, following Superior around Wisconsin and on up the north shore of Minnesota. 
on the road for Verizon and Pure Michigan. I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching.